Will they cook it down? Now! episode of Superhero Junkie. Woo! Now, we are joined today by the creator, executive producer, and godlike galactic being, E.J. De La Pena. Hello. Now, he's created this series called Nobility, and he's kind of giving everyone anxiety, waiting for this thing to come out. What? I was going to say something sexually related. Oh, do something. But when is this thing coming out, EJ? Well, we should be finished uh, with post around December, and then okay. uh, we're talking to a lot of different folks about distribution. There's a lot of good stuff in the works, and we'll be able to tell you more exactly uh, down the road. All right, cool. Now, are you looking to get this as like a TV show, maybe on sci-fi or something like that? Uh, my ideal scenario would be mm. somewhere like uh, Hulu or Netflix, but oh, yeah, definitely cool. as, a, as a full series. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe about 14 episodes, but you know, all that's going to be negotiated. And all cool, that. cool. So you have to look for that. And you've got some panels coming up. We have Kamikaze we coming up. We Let's do. talk about that. You have a panel at Kamikaze? We do. We have a great panel at Kamikaze. We're going to have uh, a great lineup with, um, let's see if I can remember everyone. <laughs> 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 uh, well, Stan Lee will be on the panel. I'm, I'm sure he'll course. be there because, you know, it's his convention, so he's doing any <laughs> panel. And kamikaze that he wants. Oh, exactly. Right. And he totally wants to be on ours, yeah. That's right. Uh, no, but we're going to have uh, Chris Judge there. We're going to have oh, Corey wow. Higginson there, cool. Adrian Wilkinson, Cass Anvar, James Kyson from Heroes. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. a great lineup. Awesome. Now, Chris Judge, you know from Stargate. And uh, tell me about Chris Judge's character. Well, Chris Judge's character is Admiral Nev, uh, mm -hmm. and he is one of the main villains who has a great little uh, backstory. And I don't want to give too much away. Okay. He's got a great backstory with the captain as to why he's constantly putting through the captain through his uh, own special kind of hell. Perhaps he loved the captain at some point in time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but in which way? <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> well, yeah. And then Chris walks in and goes, "What the heck are you doing?" <laughs> Okay, and what about uh, James Kyson, the guy from Heroes? Ah, yes, James Kyson, who played uh, Ando on Heroes. Mm -hmm. He plays our navigator, uh, Bob Takashima, uh -huh. um, because that name totally makes sense. And yeah, he's uh, just this really fun, rambunctious, uh, kind of cowboyish character uh, who uh, we're not quite sure which side of the fence he's on, so we have a lot of fun with that. And yeah. All right, and what about Walter Coney? Yes. Check off himself. Oh. As I, you know, totally like, you know, jizz in my pants. Uh, what? Huh? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wal Walter's a great guy, and um, you know, it's been such a pleasure working with him, uh, especially growing up as a Trekkie. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and he plays uh, the chief engineer Mooney, which funny story about that, I did that not realizing in the uh, newest Star Trek movie that came out, what does Chekhov do? Chekhov becomes the chief engineer in the movie. Yeah. Totally not intentional, but hey. You know why? Because they probably ripped off nobility, because there's those people out there yeah. that see things and they find out about things and then they just go and do it, right? JJ! Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, and he's this fun, uh, disgrunt uh, well, fun for us anyway, uh, disgruntled engineer. He's been trapped in the engine room for decades. Right. He's always longed for a command. Uh, but because he's such a good engineer, no one lets him out of the right. engine room. So and there's no retirement in space. Oh. No, ever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You're there until you die. That's right. Conscription. What can I say? <laughs> now, tell me about the premise no of nobility. What happens? I mean, are we going to see a lot of sexual situations in this All show? Right. All right. You'll have to watch and see. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, nobility is a fun, uh, we refer to it as a dramedy. It's a great mm -hmm. mix of comedy and drama. Um, the best way probably to describe it is Firefly meets The Office. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. we kind of yeah. have this uh, great mockumentary thing. The uh -huh. idea is that the defunct, um, uh, pan-human government is uh, trying so desperately to prove to its to to the populace to humanity that it has something to offer so they're taking the best of the best or so they think mm -hmm. uh, and doing a documentary of their flagship mm -hmm. not quite realizing that these aren't the people you want to be showing as the best of the best or the best you have to offer as a showing uh, blah. as the um, uh, 
a tagline goes, these aren't the heroes you're looking for. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> now, how many episodes did you shoot so far? Did you shoot a bunch of episodes already, like enough for a season? or? or oh, it? well, we've shot the initial pilot, uh -huh. and yeah, that's that's where we're at. We're currently getting through post on that, uh -huh. um, and yeah, that's where and we're at. And how long is the pilot? Uh, it's an hour. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's a regular TV show oh, pilot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we shot a regular TV show pilot, mm -hmm. and you know, right now we're talking to folks, shopping it around and whatnot, mm -hmm. and one way or another, one thing has always been certain about this, and the reason mm -hmm. And it's the main reason why I decided to go uh, independent with this rather than trying to uh, get a studio or network to right. buy it is because I personally feel that uh, there's not enough sci-fi out there, especially space-faring sci-fi. Everything right. is these days post-apocalyptic or Earth-based in some way. Yeah. So we're guaranteeing that it's going to get out to the audiences one way or another, even if we just put it, push it out on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, okay, there's already The Walking Dead. How many post-apocalyptic Films do I have to see? Let's drive out to Mojave and get a little spaceship, throw it up in the air, and say, oh, it's the end of the world. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Oh, let's throw a zombie in there, why don't we? We've never seen this before. Come on, enough. If you're at home and you're thinking about making a zombie or a post-apocalyptic film, please stop. Don't even think about it, okay? It hurts me for that you're even thinking about it. Don't you feel the same way? I mean, have we seen enough of that stuff already? I'm fine, man. That yeah. was beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you considered the possibility of opening yourselves up to receive the message that each of you is trying to convey, as opposed to constantly arguing about who's right? And what's more important, who's right, being right, or being together? <laughs>